And here in Hawaii, 25 to 31 percent of young adults are likely e-cigarette users. That's according to research from the University of Hawaii Cancer Center. The school is at the forefront of vaping research. It's a story that's new at 10. Lung illnesses associated with the use of e-cigarettes are a growing problem. According to the CDC, there are 380 cases across the U.S. so far. Hawaii is on the map. And a couple of years ago, we started seeing these strange things happening in the school. People were like blowing clouds of vapor that looked like steam. And at first, we didn't know what that was. But now University of Hawaii Cancer Center researchers know what it is. Electronic cigarettes. And in the time we were doing the surveys, the rate of e-cigarette use in Hawaii went from, you know, like single digits to like 20, 30 percent of the uh, school population. They began surveying Hawaii residents about vaping over six years ago. Since then, they found some shocking results. We see evidence consistently relating e-cigarette use to asthma in teenagers. So we found that uh, e-cigarette use in adults was related to called COPD. Uh, obstructive pulmonary disease. In 2018, the FDA and the National Cancer Institute awarded Dr. Palav Pakrel and his team a $1.4 million grant to study the effects of e cigarette marketing. What we've been finding is that there's uh, a lot of uh, pro e cig content on social media. Among his many findings, Dr. Pokrell discovered that young adults ages 18 to 25 exposed to e cig marketing on social media. Are 30% more likely to vape one year later, and that 67% of Hawaii young adults have been exposed to e-cigarette ads online. They're making it look cool. Uh, they're making it look glamorous. Dr. Pakrell adds that many of the ads give out the message that e-cigarettes are totally safe and harmless. So he wants people to be aware that there are potential negative health consequences.